Welcome ladies and gentlemen. We the team members of Intelligenesis from Rajalakshmi Institute of Technology are going to present to you the problem statement ID 1566 titled Enhancing Body Detection in CSSR Operations Using Advanced Technology. Without any further ado, let's dive into it. The proposed solution is a specialized drone designed for collapse structure search and rescue operations. Now this drone is equipped with three key sensors one is the gpr that is the ground penetrating radar a thermal camera and a 12 megapixel optical camera a raspberry pi 4 is used for the autopilot system the main purpose of the drone is to locate the buried victims and assess the thermal conditions and it is also designed to navigate throughout complex environments autonomously or under remote control Let us look at how it addresses the problem. The GPS sensor enables the detection of victims under the rubble. This is a very critical payload since the timing here is very crucial. The thermal camera assesses if a victim is alive by detecting its heat signature, which helps in prioritizing rescue efforts. The use of the 12 megapixel optical camera is paired with an algorithm which detects objects. This enables the drone to navigate through complex environments without colliding into an unknown or a foreign object autonomously. The uniqueness of us of this solution is that we are combining the GPS sensor, thermal imaging and a high resolution visual data in a single drone. This enables a comprehensive approach to victim detection and environmental assessment in CSSR operations this drone is equipped with a manual override option along with its autopilot system this dual mode control system allows both autonomous and manual operations which provides unprecedented flexibility this ensures that the drone can adapt to the unpredictable and dynamic nature of rescue operations the integration of raspberry pi 4 for real time data processing is a novel approach this enables complex computations and decision makings on the drone without the need for external processing the drone can be programmed to follow customizable search patterns optimizing its efficiency in scanning large areas quickly this feature combined with real time obstacle avoidance sets it apart from conventional rescue drones ground penetrating radar gpr system operating at a frequency range of 323 megahertz to 910 megahertz let's dive into how each component plays a crucial role in making subsurface detection possible it all starts with a dac that stands for digital to analog converter the dac is responsible to convert digital signals to analog waveforms this conversion is crucial because it allows the radar systems to generate the necessary analog signals for transmission the dac is connected via an i square c interface the next uh, analog signal generated by the dac is sent to the voltage controlled oscillator vco the vco's job is to generate frequencies that are precisely controlled by the input voltage these frequencies are what determine the rate radar's operating range this is essential for accurately probing beneath the ground once the vco generates the desired frequency it is passed on to the power amplifier the power amplifier boosts the signal strength ensuring the radar waves are powerful enough to penetrate the ground and reach the desired depth the amplified signal is then transmitted through the tx antenna this antenna radiates the signal into the ground the radar waves travels through the earth and interacts with the with any sub surface structures or objects as the radar waves encounters these objects they are reflected back and captured by the rx antenna however these reflected signals are typically weak which is where the low noise amplifier comes in while minimizing added noise preserving the integrity of the data for further analysis the received signals is then passed to the mixer where it is combined with a reference signal 
often derived from the transmitted signal. This process converts the received signal to an intermediate frequency, which is easier to process. Next, the IEF amplifier boosts the intermediate frequency signal to a suitable level for further processing. This amplification enhances the signal to noise ratio, making signal clear and easier to analyze. In the sensor suite, we have MLX 90640 that is an infrared thermal camera used to detect temperature variance across the surface. It can help identify heat signatures from bodies or objects, which is particularly useful in search and rescue operations where visual identification is challenging. This sensor is connected via I2C protocol and here is the schematic diagram. The Pi Camera 3 is utilized for obstacle detection and avoidance. The Raspberry Pi processes the images captured by the camera, enabling the systems to recognize and maneuver around obstacles effectively. The Pixar Flight Controller manages the autopilot system, playing a critical role in controlling the drone's movements and ensuring stable flight. Precise navigation and autonomous operation during search and rescue missions. The Raspberry Pi is connected via a UART connection, allowing it to process images in real time for, from the camera, enabling the drone to maneuver around obstacles effectively. The telemetry system provides real time communication between the ground station and the drone, enabling the transmission of data and allowing the operator to monitor the mission and make necessary adjustments. In the software, waypoints are predefined and the drone follows these waypoints using GPS during flight. If any issue arises, manual override can be activated via remote control.
Let us look at how feasible our technology for the feet. At the core of this technology is a sophisticated image processing algorithm that works in an hierarchical order known as cascade structure. Imagine this as a multi-layered system where each stage builds upon the results of the previous one, gradually refining the search. This algorithm begins by analyzing the broader image data, focusing on large sections that might contain the object of interest. In this case, potential locations of buried bodies are as the process moves through each stage, it narrows down the search space, zooming in on the most promising areas with discarding irrelevant sections. One of the key advantages of this approach is its ability to selectively focus on parts of the image that are more likely to contain what we are looking for. By doing this, the algorithm avoids wasting time and computable resources on areas with low probability, which is critical in time-sensitive operations like search and rescue. As a result, we see a significant reduction in processing time. This algorithm quickly eliminates unnecessary computations, allowing recast rescuers to get results faster. This means more timely and efficiently operations ultimately increasing the change of saving lives. In summary, by using a cascade structure, our technology offers a smart and efficient way to process images in disaster scenarios. It systematically narrows down the search space, focus on the most relevant areas and delivers results with remarkable speed, which is exactly what needed in the critical search and rescue mission. Now, let us look at how viable our technology is. First and foremost, CSSR technology enhances detection accuracy by 15 to 25 percentage compared to traditional methods. This improvement means that rescue teams can identify and locate buried bodies more reliably, increasing the chances of successful recoveries in critical situations. Another major advantage of CSSR-based body traction is its robustness to challenging conditions. Whether dealing with noise, occlusion, or variations in lightning, this technology consistently delivers, maintaining a minimum accuracy of 80%. This reliability is crucial when operating in unpredictable and chaotic environments typical of disaster sites. Furthermore, CSSR-based detection can seamlessly integrate with existing computer vision systems. This includes popular object detection and tracking frameworks, making it easier to enhance and expand the capabilities of current rescue operations without needing to overhaul existing systems. And importantly, real-time processing is achievable with this technology. Depending on this hardware and algorithms optimization, we can achieve a frame rate of 60 FPS or higher. The high-speed processing is essential in time-sensitive situations where every second counts, ensuring that rescue team can act quickly based on the most up-to-date information. In summary, CSSR technology not only improves detection accuracy and robustness, but also integrates smoothly with existing systems while delivering real-time results. These advancements represent a significant leap forward in our ability to respond to disasters effectively. This technology dramatically reduced search time and increased the effectiveness of rescue operation by integrating comprehensive data from multiple sensors. By optimizing resource use, it not only lowers operational cost but also provides a long-term versatile tool that can be deployed in variety of emergency scenarios. This technology enhances the likelihood of successful rescues and timely medical care, contributing directly to a better survival rate and overall victim care. Moreover, it mitigates the risk associated with searching dangerous and unstable environment, thereby protecting rescue personnel from potential harm. Real-time data processing is a key feature enabling immediate analysis and decision making, which significantly boosts the effectiveness of the rescue operation. The technology provides detailed information about the collapse site and victims, aiding in safer and more effective rescue planning and execution. By automating and enhancing the detection process, it allows for quicker recovery for victims, an essential factor in time-sensitive disaster scenarios. The integration of OpenCV helps the drone to automatically detect and avoid obstacles, which enhances the drone's navigation in complex environments. Additionally, convolutional neural networks are employed to detect human buried beneath debris with the assistance of ground penetrating radar, significantly improving the chances of locating survivors. The drone's ability to switch seamlessly between autonomous flight and manual control offers unparalleled flexibility and adaptability in various rescue situations. Lastly, versatility to operate in challenging conditions such as collapse structures with limited visibility or hazardous trailing 
makes this technology or very valuable asset in diverse rescue scenarios.